Welcome to Unfold Data Science friends. This is Aman here and I am a data scientist. In this video, I am going to show you how can you tune a neural network in Python. First of all, what can be tuned in neural network, right? So you can tune the batch and epoch. So what should be the batch size or what should be the epoch size? You can tune the optimization algorithm, what kind of algorithm you want to use. You want to use Adam or RMS prop or a stochastic gradient descent, right? Also, you can tune what learning rate you want to use, what momentum you want to use. You can tune what weight initialization techniques you want to use. You can tune the activation functions. You can tune the number of neuron in hidden layers. So these are basically the bigger umbrella of the things under which you can tune your neural network, right? So in this video, I'm going to show you couple of the tuning techniques out of these parameters, out of these hyperparameters, how to tune those uh, those parameters in a neural network. Okay. Now coming to the part one of this video. So I'm just importing some packages here. If you see NumPy, Pandas, I'm importing research CV, I'm importing from Keras sequential, from Keras dense. These will be required for me to train a neural network, then warnings and then Keras classifier. So grid search CV is one thing that is important here because this will help us in hyperparameter tuning. Okay. Now coming to the part one tuning batch and epoch. So I'm taking a very simple data here, the Indian diabetes data. In this Indian diabetes data, you have various columns which tells about the individuals number of times pregnant, uh, glucose level, blood pressure, skin thickness, lot of independent parameters and then we have a target variable outcome. Okay. So outcome one, one means the person is diabetic and outcome zero means person is not diabetic. Now this is our training data set. Okay. This data I am going to split in predicted and response. So as you can see first few records of the data, the last column is the target column. Hence before the last column everything I am taking in X, I am calling that as predictor and the last column I am taking in Y and I am calling that as response. Okay. Now comes the model definition part. So what I am doing here, I am creating a function, I am calling that function as create my model. In this function, I am defining a sequential model from Kera sequential. I am adding a dense layer, dense 12 input dimension 8 because I have 8 uh, parameters in my independent variables. Activation function, I have initiated ReLU and then the next layer here, activation function sigmoid. I am compiling the model, I am giving some parameters, optimizer, Adam and loss and I am just putting everything inside a function here. Okay. What I do next is I just run this function to create my model. So here I have created my model. Now I want to tune my model for different batch size and epochs. So as you can see here, I have given different batch sizes like 10, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 and epochs I have given 10, 30 and 50. I want to see which combination of batch size and epoch is best for my model. Okay. So what I am doing here is I am putting everything inside a parameter grid, inside a dictionary and I am calling grid search CV. So if you remember I had imported this package here grid search CV. This package, the same package grid search CV, grid search CV function I am calling and I am giving estimated is equal to model. So model I have created here, param grid is equal to parameter grid. So where is my parameter grid? Here that is nothing but batch size and epoch combination number of jobs minus 1 means use all the resources available in this CPU. Okay. And cross validation 3 means, so I had explained to you what is cross validation. So here I am keeping cross validation as number of cross validation as 3. Okay. When I run this entire block, I am not rerunning because it took like 9 minutes to run. So when I ran this entire block, as you can see here, different epochs are running and different accuracy I am getting. right. In the end, you can see I am getting an accuracy of, so I am just taking the best parameter from above. So it says me the best accuracy is 67.96 using batch size 10 and epochs 50. So I had given a combination of batch size and epochs. If you can see from these given combinations, it gives me one combination here and that combination it says me as the best combination 10 and 50. Okay. So we have optimized our batch size and epoch for this particular data set. What next? Let's try optimizing the activation function for this data. 
So, we do not know which activation function will fit best to this data. Let us try to find out that again using grid search CV. So, again I am creating a defining a function here optimizer Adam to start with I am giving and then the difference from the previous function to this function is here in place of optimizer I am giving a variable. Okay? So, what I have stored in this variable? In this variable I have stored different optimizers if you can see here SGD, ADA Delta, RMS Prop, ADA Grad and Adam. So, all these optimizers I have explained in my theoretical videos. Now, what I want to do here is I want to see which optimizer fits best to my data. Okay? So, this variable goes as input to this function and similarly if you can see here if you notice here I am defining the new model with previously defined epoch and batch size. Okay? So, previously obtained epoch and batch size. So, my epoch and batch size was previously 10 and 50 that was the best epoch and batch size combination I got from the previous step that is part 1. These numbers I am giving here as input batch size as 10 and epoch as 50 and I take my build function which is my model uh, name and the function name it takes here and creates the uh, refined model which means with these parameters. Now, I want to tune this refined model with all these optimizer to see which optimizer fits best to the model. So, again same process I use grid search CV, I take the model, I use parameter grid and parameter grid is nothing but a combination of all these and when I run this if you can see here multiple epochs are running and in the end I will get the best optimizer. Now, if you can see here best is showing 0.68990 using optimizer SGD. Now, SGD stands for stochastic gradient descent. Now, from these two parts part 1 and part 2 what we can see is we have come to the number of epoch and batch size for this particular use case and also which optimizer is best for this use case. Now, there is no end to it you can keep optimizing on all these things right weight initialization learning rate momentum number of uh, neurons in hidden layers all these things you can try one by one optimizing and see how you can improve the accuracy of the model. So, the task for you would be improve the accuracy of the model and write me in comment using what you were able to achieve the higher accuracy. Okay? If you have any doubts write me in comment I will come up with more videos on this topic and other data science topics as well all of you till then stay safe and take care.